welcome to all of you here is the setup of energy band gap in semiconductor diode so this one is our power on off switch this one is the power supply we have a one current meter positive and negative terminal this one is the diode and here is have O1 this one is the switch of O1 so first I connect the diode in a reverse bias reverse it means what the positive which is connected to the negative and negative which is connected to the positive terminal which is in reverse bias here we have a one switch which is O1 switch on and off switch and I have a one thermometer I just adjust the thermometer at the top of the O1 so the thermometer which is indicate the temperature of O1 basically the temperature of diode also you can see this one is the celsius thermometer and uh, at this time the temperature of room which is around 36 degree on celsius so let's first connect the circuit power supply positive terminal which is connected to the current a meter positive terminal after that negative which is connected to the diode terminal and uh, remaining uh, thing which is negative of the power supply which is always connected to the negative or grounded so our circuit connection is finished if it is a uh, pending in the exam connect in this way so you get the idea how to connect it now turn on you can see the current is only 0 4 micro ampere it means very very less now turn on the oven so what happen whenever we turn on the oven you can see the temperature which is gradually increasing in a manner we already know about our previous knowledge in reverse bias the correct current is very low but whenever we supply some heat through the O1 what happened our current also increasing in a manner so let's wait some 10 to 15 minutes to raise the temperature at a 90 degree on celsius so when the temperature is increasing in a manner current will also increasing so wait for that I put a title band gap of semiconductor and what is our objective in this experiment to determine the band gap in a semiconductor diode using a diode what is band gap what mean band gap so in every material or we can say semiconductor material what happens some energy levels are there conduction energy level valence band energy level now between the gap of that two which is considered as a band gap here we have some operators band gap setup box connecting wires power supply and thermometer and we have a last equation eg eg which is represent represent the energy gap okay now how this equation comes i will tell you in the calculation part okay so let's uh, go through the table also in the table the first column which is a temperature in celsius and the second one which is a reverse saturation current which is a basically current in a diode okay so what we have to measure we have to measure temperature across the reverse saturation current we are waiting to temperature up to 90 degree on celsius and after that i will turn off the oven and now what happened temperature will gradually decreasing in a manner 90 85 80 75 70 65 and according to that temperature we have to measure the reverse saturation current now i am turn off the oven and you can see the temperature is almost 90 degree on celsius and i already uh, measured the value of 90 degree i got 70.1 degree sorry 70.1 micro ampere current now you can see we are waiting for the temperature of 85 degree i just fast forward the video so it is a little bit fast decreasing we are waiting to get the temperature of 85 you can see in the thermometer 
the temperature will decreasing in a manner it is uh, decreasing decreasing and uh, according to the temperature the current of diode is also decreasing and uh, now yeah it is 85 so the value is 51.1 so just note down 51.1 now we are waiting for 80 degree ohm celsius at this time you can see in the thermometer the red line which is indicate the 84 near 84 okay so again we are waiting to decrease the temperature now it is visible in the camera it's uh, 82 nearly 82 okay and uh, current is also decreasing in a manner so we are waiting up to 80 it is almost reached yeah 38.8 we got 38.8 at 80 degree on celsius so just note down 38.8 now i will tell you what is the principle behind it when we supply some heat what happened the electron will absorb some energy and cross the barrier potential so we get some current but in this case scenario what happened the oven is off now nobody energy will supply to that particular electron and that's why the electron can't penetrate that particular barrier of the diode and that's why current will decrease in a manner and we have to study temperature according the reverse saturation current and using this property we can find the band gap of semiconductor material so this one is the my basic principle now what you have to do just wait for decreasing the temperature accordingly the current will also decreasing and you have to just note down according the temperature 75 after that wait for 70 after that wait for the 65 so each and every temperature regarding you get the reverse saturation current also okay so you have to take a reading up to 40 degree now rest of the part which is a calculation part okay which is helpful to do some calculation so you can see the third one which is temperature in kelvin how we get celsius per plus 273 just add 90 plus 273 we get 363 80 plus 273 we got 358 as in a manner simply we have to just add 273 in the temperature column so we will convert we already convert the temperature in kelvin now 10 to power 3 divided by t it means what 1000 divided by 363 so i got 2.75 again second one 1000 divided by 358 i got 2.79 so same you have to make a column for 10 to power 3 divided by t in kelvin so use the calculator and uh, you got these kind of result in that particular column now the last column is what log is so we have a is column just take a log log 17.1 so i got 1.84 the second one log 51.1 it is 1.70 so same way i am just directly taking a log using the calculator and i prepare a column for log is now what is the use case of these three or these two so the main benefit in the calculation and using these two i will prepare a graph now i will explain what is the reason behind that and how we get the formula so according to our previous knowledge when the connection is reversed bias connection the reverse saturation current equation is this one and here in this equation eg which is our band gap we have to find this eg value simple kb which is a boltzmann constant t which is a temperature now simply take a layer 
take a log of both hand side so we got these equation log is is equal to log c minus something now simply equivalent your equation state line y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to log is c which is equal to log c m which is equal to these portion eg by something and x which is equivalent to 10 to power 3 divided by t so you can see y is equal to log is so i am preparing the graph log is on my y axis on that graph now x which is 10 to power 3 divided by t so it is on x axis on my graph now i have already column for log is and 10 to the power 3 divided by t also so using this equation i got some point and i want to find the slope of that particular line i have a value of 10 to the power 3 divided by t and log is so using this value this one is the x axis and this one is the y axis simple we can prepare a graph and that slope value which is equivalent to the rest of the value m which is equal to eg divided by something i already put the value of kb and uh, t so i sorry kb boltzmann value so i got the these equation last one directly i am putting the m value i got the eg so using the computer i already prepared a graph you just go through the graph paper you got the value of the slope so according to my value and according to the my computer graph i got the slope value which is 3.25 divided by some constant now use the calculator how much the energy gap i found i found 0.645 electron volt so this one is our simple answer which is nearly 0.7 electron volt so this one is our what band gap or which is considered as a eg eg which is indicate energy gap so our result is what we found the energy band gap which is equal to 0.7 electron volt and we got a very good result in this experiment thank you thank you very much